What's up, guys? So, it's probably about 3 a.m. right now. I'm at the gym. And um, before I get into my workout, I just want to um, tell you guys this amazing story um, of what just took place tonight, actually. And um, tonight, you know, most of you guys know that I work, you know, in, at nighttime, you know, my night job. Um, so with that being said, I was at work, right? And it was just so awesome, man. Like I was on break and I was walking around the building. And as I'm walking around the building, um, I look up and I see this older lady, right? Maybe 50-ish or whatever the case may be. And as um, soon as I made eye contact with her, because we made eye contact, the Holy Ghost told me, I heard his voice and the Holy Ghost spoke to my spirit and say, encourage my preacher, right? So I go over there and, you know, we had made eye contact, you know, so it was fairly easy to walk up to her. Walked up to her, I said, hey, I say, are you a woman of God? And she says, yes, how did you know that? You know, and she kind of was like looking like, like, you know, wow, like, like, how did you know that? And I say, well, the Holy Spirit just laid it to my heart, just spoke it in my spirit that you need encouragement. He said to encourage my preacher. And that's what I'm doing. I'm being a humble, a humble servant right now and giving you encouragement. And this lady just really began to cry. Like she began to shed tears and things of that nature. And she said, you don't understand. She said, I'm a failed preacher. I failed as a preacher. I said, no, you didn't. She said, no, you don't understand. I said, listen to me, hear me out. This is what the spirit of the Lord is telling me. This is what the Holy Ghost is telling me. What he's telling me right now if you wasn't a preacher, if you if you was a failed preacher, he wouldn't have sent his prophet to preach to you, to encourage you to come back to preaching. Look at this. Look at God. Glory to God. Shibata shabata. Look at God on this, guys. Oh my God, it's so awesome. Gave me chills. And she started tearing up. I started tearing up a little bit. And I said, God wants you restored. He's the redeemer. He sent me out of, guys, I work at a huge place. I'm talking like 5,000 people, man. I'm not talking about nothing small. 5,000 people per shift, Five to 6,000 people per shift. What is the odds, man? What is the odds of us running into each other? nothing but the Holy Ghost. So what was exhibited at that moment was the words of knowledge. If you're just obedient, God will give you a word of knowledge to encourage or to correct at times, but most important, importantly, to comfort and to encourage the body of Christ. Amen. And by the time that I got done encouraging her with the word of God, she looked like she was like a burden was lifted, you know, and she was just like really like at all. And I was, too, you know, um, she really was just like I, she said I was just asking the Lord, what is my purpose? Because I felt like I failed as a human being, you know, and she was like she went through so much spiritual warfare that she just feel drained and she just she just feel disgust. And she was like, thank you so much for coming with that word of encouragement. She was like, what is the odds of that? I said, exactly. So hold on to that. Hold, and I told her, I said, hold on to that. You know, God wouldn't just send his prophet for no reason. She was like, oh my God, you're a prophet. You're a prophet. And I was like, yes, ma'am, I am. I've been called to the office of being a prophet. And I'm just a humble servant. I don't let titles get to my mind and all of that type of stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm a disciple. I'm just a humble servant. And I'm just doing what prophets do. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. And hopefully um, it encouraged you. Maybe you're going to do something right now. You need encouragement. So, you know, and I just want to encourage you also to never be afraid to move in the power of God, man. All it is is just obedience and faith, guys. When God put it on your heart, I don't care where you at. I don't care if you're at the mall, at the gym, wherever you're at. 
just move in obedience to that, move in accordance to that, and, and, and God will get the glory out of that, amen, and it just, now I know I went to work tonight just to touch that one person, amen, just that one person, that's what, that was my whole purpose of being the work, being at work tonight, and that was her whole purpose of being at work tonight, like I say, I work at a huge place, 5,000, 6,000 people, what are the odds of a pastor, a preacher, and a prophet locking eyes and a prophet having a word from Jesus Christ to encourage this falling preacher? We serve our own time, God. We serve an amazing God, guys. Amazing God. And he wants to redeem us to the fullest. Amen. So let me get to my workout, guys. God bless you. Thank you for taking time out to view this video and share this with whoever needs encouragement. We need encouragement in the body of Christ, man. So much confusion going on and craziness going on and we got spiritual warfare. Like she said, like the young lady said, a lot of spiritual warfare, man. And let's not forget to encourage people, amen. So send this to anybody, share this to anybody. You have my stamp of approval, amen to send it to anybody. Replay this as much as often if you need encouragement in Jesus Christ. God bless you guys, and I love you. Thank you.